Moy Zavadov. Not the nicest of days because it's raining visibly, so it's a good day to be inside. And I'm going to be inside watching Death on the Nile, a murder mystery, and then in IMAX, Uncharted. So uh, yeah, the times aren't up perfectly. By the time Death on the Nile ends, there'll be like a 10 minute gap between the IMAX setting of Uncharted. So yeah, looking forward to it. Let's do this. Well, uh, 15 minutes until Uncharted starts, so uh, Death on the Nile. That was interesting it was pretty good i feel like there was one big pothole on the characters but i'm not going to say it because spoilers but overall a very interesting murder mystery not what i expected it's got a very good cast if you look it up there's a lot of familiar names there it's got a very nice cast um and yeah acting was all good and uh, the reveal didn't really expect it so yeah it's a great one you don't see it coming maybe i'm stupid or maybe it was just a really good twist but i really liked what I did with it. Without spoiling it too much, there's a couple madly in love and this couple has a friend, a rich friend, played by Gal Gadot, but the man leaves her for the rich friend um, and she becomes the jealous ex who follows them around. But also, uh, both uh, the rich lady, well, I mean Gal Gadot is a rich woman, so she has friends who like her for her money and family members are like her for her money and love other love interests and so the guy has some connections as well with certain people. There's a lot of people that would have a motive or a reason for killing her or killing him to, to get money. I'm not going to say who dies, but let's just say one person dies and it opens up. Basically, everyone is a suspect and one of the characters is a detective. So in a way, it's like a serious version of Knives Out in a way. Uh, but yeah, the detective is a former French soldier and he was in love at one point, so he has an emotional attachment to the case. Uh, but yeah, he's trying to figure out who killed this person, and everyone's a suspect. But there's, but no one's safe because the killer's still on the loose, and the killer kills more people. So he's got to quickly find out who it is before everyone else dies. Not the best explanation, but it's the best I can do without spoiling it. Probably not the best actually. Anyway, I'm gonna see Uncharted next. Wasn't that excited for this? There's a lot of cars going by wasn't that excited for this in the first place but some of the things in the trailer I've, I thought looked good um, I'm not convinced by Tom Holland as uh, Nathan Drake I just I don't get it but I've seen the trailers and the stunts look like they were ripped straight out of the game like the, the plane scene especially it looks like they ripped it straight from the game and that's what I want I want accuracy video game movies uh, there aren't many good ones but when they're done right you know they could be good it's IMAX time I was waiting to get my nachos Right there. I was waiting to order them, I was behind like one family and there was only one cashier and someone else turned up but they were just setting up the machine and then another family turns up and they're like, go forward. I'm just like, but she just got there. I don't know if she's working yet. But I walked up to her and I said, can I order this? And she's like, she took my order straight away. I'm just like, she was still setting up the machine. She wasn't ready. She didn't tell anyone next, please. So I was standing there awkwardly the whole time. I could have just gone up there. <laughs> I'm such an awkward person, but she never said anything. Usually they say next, please. Right, so Uncharted was actually quite good. Um, going into the movie, I didn't get the casting of Tom Holland. I didn't get the casting of Mark Wahlberg. They're both very good actors. It's just that Tom Holland as Nathan Drake and Mark Wahlberg as Victor Sullivan. I was just like, really? <laughs> really? Th th those were the best two you could... But yeah, um, I think they did pretty well. Um, I'm still not completely convinced, but I think they both did a good job. Um, at times, uh, Tom felt more like Peter Parker <laughs> than Nathan Drake. But yeah, um, in terms of like, you know, costumes and stuff like in the games, the clothes they wear. Is, I know that's such a small thing to point out, but it's accurate in the movie. Um, but I tell you what, perfect casting was Chloe. Chloe Fraser. Literally... The woman who plays Chloe Fraser in this, in this movie, she looks exactly like Chloe from the games and she sounds like her as well. Like, they could not have picked, they probably couldn't have picked a better person to play her. Like, it was literally spot on. So that was good. Um, there, was, there was a weird cameo, a guy on the beach. I don't know who it was, but I felt like the movie was telling you that it was someone. Just a short cameo. Um, his brother Sam is uh, a small part of the plot. So from the fourth Uncharted game, you have his brother Sam. No Elena, so, you know, they haven't included every major character, but they have put two after credit scenes at the end as a teaser for potential sequels if this is successful, I guess. PlayStation has its own movie intro now, <laughs> a bit like Marvel. 
they got like The Last of Us, God of War in there. They got their, they got their own nice little intro, which I thought was quite cool. I never saw that before. Um, but as for the movie itself, like I like adventure type stories, adventure movies, adventure related TV shows. I love the Uncharted games, which I didn't play until recently, but I do love those games. Adventures are great. Yeah, they're great entertainments. And uh, I feel like cinema needs more adventure movies. And I know there's Indiana Jones coming out at some point as well again. But Uncharted, I think, was a pretty good adventure movie. And um, there were quite a few scenes that they definitely took out the games. Similarities, rooftop chases, climbing up ledges to get to the top. Um, the plane scene when you do that cargo thing. There's a lot of things that look like they're straight from the game. There's an enemy rich guy who's after this prize. He's got his own crew, violent crew. So you got to deal with them while finding the treasure. And uh, when you find the treasure, things happen, twists happen. Just like in the games, like it feels like, you know, a shortened version of an Uncharted game, which is good. Uh, but it's very much like a beginnings movie, like a very first Uncharted movie. Um, if they wanted to make it a franchise, they could. Um, but for a first movie, I don't think it was too bad. It was, it was actually pretty good. I quite enjoyed it. And uh, the stunts were pretty crazy as well. I felt like... Um, well, I mean, what didn't feel like the game was there was a lot more dialogue. I mean, there is dialogue a lot in, in the games, but you still get to play, you know? You get to play quite a lot of it. Um, but obviously you get cutscenes and stuff. Um, it's not a criticism. Obviously a movie's got to be done differently. But, like, I feel like there was definitely more dialogue than there was action, which is fine. But, you know, obviously when you're playing the game, you're playing it most of the time with a few cutscenes in between. Uh, this one you get, I guess, it's like the game with longer cutscenes and you're not playing it yourself. Still, it's good. They can do a lot. If they do sequels, I'd like to see them recreate more stuff from the games, like the train in Uncharted 2. I would love something like that in uh, <laughs> in a sequel. Uncharted 2, the movie would be great. Uncharted 2, the game, there was an incredible sequence of the train. I'd love to see that translate into the movie, uh, i got to say. Uh, there's a lot they can do with uh, this sort of franchise. But yeah, adventures, adventure movie about two thieves looking for treasure and they're battling with more violent thieves that are also after them at the same time. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, good, it's a good premise for a movie or a movie franchise. So uh, I'd, I wouldn't mind seeing sequels. I wouldn't mind seeing sequels. It was a good time. Um, would I watch it again? Probably not in the cinema, but yeah, I'd probably watch it again. I don't know if I'd buy it, but... It's a fun movie. I didn't. I wasn't amazed by it. I just enjoyed it. I had a good time, and uh, it's pretty damn fun. I think if you play the games, you definitely appreciate certain things. But I think, like me, you probably think Tom Holland, Nathan Drake, how, why? But yeah, aside from the interesting casting choices, I felt it was quite good. And there's some good references as well. There's some references to things from other games. Pay attention to the after credit scenes. There's two after credit scenes, one straight away and one after a bit of credits. Uh, the second off credit scene is quite interesting because there's a name mentioned, an important name that's mentioned. Um, and also a very uh, familiar actor if you watch Game of Thrones or watched it because it's over. What a terrible last season. Anyway, um, yeah, that's what I got to say about the film. I quite liked it. If I was to rate, I mean, I didn't rate Death on the Nile. Death on the Nile for me was an 8 out of 10. Uncharted for me was also an 8 out of 10. I had a good time with both. You know, um, I get, well, not the same feeling, but in terms of like, you know, rewatching it, pretty much the same thoughts. Um, I'm not going to say which is the better movie because they're completely different movies. It's hard to compare them. Um, but I had a good time today. Two decent movies. So, uh, yeah, I just want to see the Batman, to be honest. I've literally, on opening weekend, I'm watching it three times. <laughs> I booked, I, I, had one, I had one day left of holiday from work for the year. I, I booked ahead. Because the year is from February to next January. I booked all of my days already over the course of the year. I had one day left. I thought, yeah, I use it on Friday night for March the 4th. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So I'm going to Leicester Square where I watch No Way Home with mum and granddad. That's going to be fun. Then I'm going again to BFI IMAX, which is the biggest stream in Britain, on Saturday. And then I'm going to see it in 4DX on Sunday at my local. So it's a, it's a three-hour movie as well. So, yeah, it better be good, though. Imagine, imagine I go the first time and it's not good, then then there becomes a problem. But I am confident. Also, it's the Batman, the Batman. I cannot wait. 
three hour extravaganza. This is your boy Zavarov. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see you.